Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the third episode of Java 101. In this episode, we are going to learn how to get user input. Uh, so far, we have learned how to create variables that are hard-coded to what we want them to be. We can also change their values, but we haven't learned how to ask the user for information and then handle it. This, of course, is incredibly important in an adventure game where the user would choose what they want to do instead of it being decided for them. So in this episode, we are going to learn how to uh, get the user input. So. At the top, right under this comment, which we're going to use to help us, we're going to declare uh, an instance of Scanner. Scanner is a Java class that is used for reading input from an input stream. You don't really need to know what that means, you just need to know that this class will allow us to get input from the console. You're going to go ahead and type Scanner with a capital S, S equals new scanner system dot in and go ahead and import scanner uh, in Eclipse the short uh, the shortcut is command shift O or I would assume control shift O on a PC um, scanner sort of like string is a class that is included with the Java development kit uh, basically what we're doing is we're instantiating a scanner and we're having it read from the system input stream you don't need to know what that means but just know that it's reading the console input. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to actually have the user enter their name. So we're going to declare a string called name but we're not going to give it a value because the value is going to be controlled, it's going to be entered by the user. So first we're going to go ahead and say print ln. Uh, we're going to say what is your name? Okay, so we're asking them what their name is, and in order to get the input, we're going to say name equals s dot, and you'll get a pop-up here with all of the different methods. There are a ton of different methods, but basically um, the ones that you're going to look at are next, next line, next int, next double, and next uh, boolean. So uh, basically for every primitive data type, there is a method that will um, get that that will get that from the console. So for this, we're going to say next line, which will return the next line. So when we run this, um, it'll say what's your name. It's going to wait for input, and when I press enter, it's going to take that line that I just typed and it's going to assign that to name. So name is going to be equal to the next line. So after I enter something and press enter, name will be assigned to what I just typed in, and now we want to say welcome to adventure and then put their name in. In Java, you can have multiple uh, different data types uh, in one line. So this println, it's taking a string, but we can actually put in, uh, you know, multiple, and this will make sense in a second. So we're going to put um, an ending uh, quotation right there. Welcome to adventure, comma. We're going to put plus name plus, and then put a starting quotation. So we're writing welcome to adventure, space, then we're adding the name, the value of name, which is what they type in, and then we're adding an exclamation point. This is called string concatenation, and it'll come into play later on, but it's definitely a good thing to know. So we're just printing out welcome to adventure, and then name, so we're just putting their name in there, and then exclamation point. So if we go ahead and run this, it will say, what is your name? So I'm going to type in Pogo, and it will say, welcome to adventure, Pogo. Uh, once again, name is equal to the next line that I enter, and then since I entered Pogo, it will say, welcome to adventure, Pogo, uh, where it adds the value of name into that line. Um, one note that's very important is, let's say I enter Pogo stick as Pogo and stick 29 is two words, you'll see that um, it says welcome to adventure Pogo space stick 29. If I use s.next and I enter Pogo stick 29, you'll see it will say welcome to adventure Pogo. And the difference here is that next only returns the next, uh, like the next word. So 
what's going to happen is it's going to go through P is good, O, G, O. It's going to find a space, and it's going to say, okay, there's a space. It's going to, re it's going to set name equal to Pogo, and then it's going to wait here at the beginning of this string. So if I call s.next again, then it would return stick 29. Uh, it's a bit confusing, but just know the difference, and chances are you're always going to want to use s.next line so that you can have spaces and it will still work for you. So that's all for uh, this video. Uh, you learned the basics of getting user input. Um, so, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. Make sure to let me know if you have any questions. I don't want to go too slow, but I also don't want to go too fast. So if I forget to explain something important, or there's just something that you don't understand, please tell me so that I can uh, address the issues and make sure that the video is as informative uh, and moves at the right pace as possible. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon.